Well, today's video is going to be on harvesting this beautiful peaches and cream corn and how to preserve it for long-term storage. We'll be right back. Well, welcome back, friends. Last year we did a three-part mini-series growing some uh, white corn on how to grow white corn, and I think a lot of folks uh, benefited from that little mini-series, and uh, from what I understand, a lot of people had some success, and I'm, I'm really glad to hear that. So this year we wanted to just um, build on that little, uh, little mini-series by adding one more video today. Um, Last year we grew the white corn, so this year I wanted to grow peaches and cream. It's a mix of white corn and yellow corn on the same cob. It's a very, uh, very delicious uh, taste in corn. A lot of people uh, consider that to be their favorite sweet corn. <laughs> so uh, what we wanted to do this year is uh, just, we got our uh, block of corn growing. I want to uh, let that get on up and in about 70 days from now, we'll come out here and we'll harvest this corn and um, we'll show you how me and Nancy preserve it for long-term storage. So we'll be back in uh, the days ahead and uh, we'll do that together. See you then. Well, welcome back, friends. We're out here in the corn block, and as you can see, they're doing really pretty good. The tassels are up, our, uh, our silk is showing, and the ears of corn are maturing. So it's in the process of pollination right now. So that means we only got about 15 days or so, and this uh, corn will be ready to harvest. So we'll keep our eye on this and we'll be back and we'll harvest this together and we'll uh, get some of this stuff processed up for long-term storage together. So we'll see you back out here in the corn block in a couple weeks. See you then. Well, good morning, Homestead family. Welcome back. The uh, corn is uh, ready to go to harvest now. Actually, it was ready to go to harvest two weeks ago, but we we uh, waited till later because our little grandson <laughs> came out this weekend and we wanted him to experience um, harvesting corn and mm -hmm. shucking corn and he had a ball, didn't he? Oh, he had such a great time. It was an experience for him. <laughs> he was up down these rows like, he, he was faster than Bing Bing. <laughs> He's zipping through here. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the time he got through with the first row, he was an expert. Yep, he was. <laughs> he was supervising everybody. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty good. So mm -hmm. we uh, had a good time with that, and uh, we, we harvested, you know, a good deal of it the other day. And we got a little bit left here. Um, mm -hmm. It did go a little bit too long, but that's okay because we're just going to try to make some cream corn out of it to mm -hmm. store for long-term storage, and uh, some of it we want to give to the chickens, so everybody's a winner. Mm -hmm. So let's get started.
Well, <laughs> that was corn day. Mm -hmm. I hope y'all had fun while we uh, harvested that little bit of corn that we had this year and uh, we uh, blanched some and put it in the vacuum seal into the um, into the freezer and we also scraped off some and made uh, sort of like a cream corn. similar to cream corn. We got what 16 meals of cream corn and about 40 something of the uh, corn on the cob so we love it. We love it. <laughs> we love you too. Thank you for watching our videos. We hope that our video brought a little bit of joy to your day, a little peace to your heart. So until me and Nancy, see you next time. Always remember, by, by his, his hands, hands we are fed. fed. Give, Give us, Lord, our, our daily, daily bread. bread. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day.